for tuning in to the Words in Season podcast. My name is Kara Marie Morris, and I'm your host. You can subscribe, you can share on your social media, you can find more episodes on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. But most importantly, remember that every time that you tune in, that Jesus has a word in season for you. So the scripture I want to talk about today is in 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel in chapter 3, and this is about the prophet Samuel. We know in the Bible it tells us that Hannah and her husband dedicated him to the Lord and brought him to the temple. And he was there in intense ministry training from a, a, a young age. So starting in verse 1, it says, Now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli. The word of the Lord was rare and precious in those days, and there was no frequent or widely spread vision. And at that time, Eli, whose eyesight was dim so that no one, so that he could not see, was lying down on, in his own place. And the lamp of God had not gone out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. And Samuel was lying down. So basically, they're going to bed. And when the Lord called Samuel, he answered, Here I am. And he ran to Eli, and he said, Here I am, for you called me. And Eli said, I did not call you. Lie down again. So he went back. So basically, he went back to his own room. And the Lord called again, Samuel. And Samuel arose again. And he went to Eli, and he said, Here I am. You did call me. Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Lie down again. And now Samuel did not know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. And the Lord called to Samuel a third time, and he went to Eli, and he said, Here I am, for you did call me. And then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. And so Eli said to Samuel, Go and lie down, and if he calls to you again, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And so Samuel went, and he lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called as it was to the other times and said, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And the Lord told Samuel, Behold, I am about to do a thing in Israel at which both ears of all who hear it shall tingle. And on that day I will perform against Eli and all those spoken concerning his house from the beginning to the end. And so it continues, and God tells Samuel, this child, who is sensitive to his voice, what he was about to do in Israel. And in verse 19, it says, Samuel grew and the Lord was with him and let none of his words fall to the ground. So God performed the words that he said to Samuel. Samuel was a great prophet in the Old Testament, but I, what I want to look at is how he honored his leader. Samuel was a young boy and he was in the service of the Lord, but the Lord had not individually called him yet. And so this was a time where he was serving a natural man. He was serving Eli, the priest that was the current priest of the day. And even though he did not discipline his own sons, and so they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. And that's why God was raising up another priest, Samuel. He was preparing him for that. But Samuel, still, he yielded himself and humbled himself before his natural leader. And I love that it says here, and in 1 Samuel 3, it says, in verse 5, it says, When he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Eli said, I did not call you. Lie down again. So he went and he lied down. So Eli was his natural leader. And it says that he ran to him. He was so willing to serve. And he was wanting to serve his natural leader, the one that God had placed in his life for that time that he was able to hear the voice of the Lord. The people, the leaders, the pastors, the, the small group leaders, the people that God has placed in our lives that are our covering, as God has given us gifts unto men, like it says in Ephesians 4. He has given those who are in full-time ministry over the church, over to watch and to shepherd and to pastor the body of Christ. Those have been given a great responsibility. And as Samuel yielded himself and humbled himself to the word of Eli, that is when he heard the word of the Lord. And I love that this paints a picture that he ran. He got up. It was the middle of the night. He was tired. 
he but he was sensitive sensitive enough and humble enough and servant-hearted enough that even if it was in the middle of the night and he thought his master was calling he was going to get up and run not walk not oh i'll do it tomorrow or i'll figure out what i'll answer the phone tomorrow or i'll call him back later no because it was his leader and he honored him god honored Samuel by not only raising him up, but speaking the word of the Lord to him. So that's the word in season this week is that as we run to God, and sometimes that means in the form of being servant hearted like Samuel, being willing to give up our sleep, being willing to run when our pastors say run, being willing to say serve when our pastors ask us to serve or our leaders when they're asking for volunteers in churches. Whenever the pastor needs my help, I run towards that. And as I serve, as I lay my life down, as I humble myself to the leaders in my life, I will hear the voice of the Lord. Samuel was able to hear the voice of the Lord and Eli directed him that way because he honored the leader in his life. Samuel heard and the word of God was revealed to him because he ran toward the leader, he served, and he had a single-hearted and a single-minded um, childlike faith. A childlike faith to say, God, you place this person in my life. I run to them whenever they need help, whenever they want help. And that is when God spoke to them. So if you're looking for a word, if you're looking for direction, First of all, okay, we go to the Word of God and that's how He speaks to us. And then another way to find direction, another way to seek Him is to seek Him by serving in the church, by serving leaders, by serving uh, others. And just like Samuel was in a position to hear from the Word of the Lord as he served his leader, we are also in the same place. We will hear the Word of the Lord as we serve the leaders in our church, as we serve our fellow church members, as we run towards him, that childlike, just complete faith of, oh, you need something? Let's do this. And that is when Samuel heard the voice of the Lord. So thank you for tuning into the Words in Season podcast and God bless you.